Today's project is working with lots of colors and mini granny squares. It's the kind of a project that could maybe be called slow crochet, something that you take up when you have extra time in between a different project and one that will be finished when it's finished. So no pressure. This is how much I have worked on it right now. And if we look at it closer, we can see that I'm joining the pieces as I go. So there's go not going to be any seam. And it's also the way I work then that I decide one piece at a time what color it's going to be to make sure that there's no kind of pattern forming, that it's as colorful as possible. And also I'm putting them in diagonal rows. And uh, here, one corner that I've already worked with, it has these half squares everywhere so that you get a straight line here. It's going to be a cushion cover and at the moment the length of it is now enough. The most common size for the inner cushions is 40 centimeters or 16 inches. So I have the full width of it now and then I'll just continue working on it. Each square is tiny. It's about three centimeters or a little bit more than an inch. And it's done in such a way that there's no chain in here and there's only one chain in the corner. So that makes a sort of a fairly tight granny square. I'm finishing off yarn ends as I go because there's of course quite a few of them. <laughs> I have tried to find ways to have less yarn ends in granny squares, but because I don't use knots in yarn, I haven't found any. There are a couple of ways that people avoid that, but then they knot their yarn and I would never do that. So I continue thinking of how it could be done. I'm using seven different colors and the yarn is this here, United Socks by Katya. It's superwash and mainly wool. It's made mainly for sock knitting and that's what actually I bought it for, but I prefer to use it for this here. It's fingering weight, so it's very light. And I'm using a crochet hook three millimeter. So let's make one square first. With something as small as this, I don't actually use a normal slip knot at all. Instead, I make a stitch that I leave loose like that there. Can you see? Just because a slip knot creates a sort of a hard spot. And then when you close a tiny ring, then it's not as tidy as when you do it like this here, we'll see. You could of course use a magic ring as well, but for this project, I have uh, selected not to. And I need five. And when you do a stitch like that to start with, that counts as a stitch. So one, two, three, four and five. So I need to uh, always start with five. And I'm tightening the bit now and then more afterwards. So into that and a slip stitch into a ring. And just a normal granny square, chain three and uh, two double crochets. If you are a beginner, remember that you can always slow a video down in the settings. And then just one for the corner. For this, I'll do only one for the corner. And uh, then just continue. So I'll make the center of a granny square with one chain in the corner and leaving the tail end inside my stitches. But remember that is not enough. Leaving it in the stitches is not enough so that it wouldn't come out. So you still need to go sort of backwards with it to finish it off. I'll tighten it a bit now. And one more set of three grand, I'm um, sorry, Double crochets. Okay, and then chain one and then cut the yarn. I'm filming by this light well. I'm still in Las Palmas if you have watched my previous videos and there's a lot of noise coming here from all the other flats. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep the noise away. <laughs> 
There's nowhere quiet where I could go to make videos and I don't want to miss my publishing schedule. <laughs> so we leave it like that after the first round and then take the next yarn and insert the hook at the top of those three chains in the beginning and a slip stitch. And you need to, oh yes, I, I'm tightening this here center a bit now. So here I have that. And then start in the second round, chain three and uh, two. It's a bit hard now to see because the corners are so small, but two double crochets in the corner sort of behind you. And then no chain and then skip straight to the next corner. And three in that corner, chain one and the other three. And we are going to use this here bit for joining. So one more set of three double crochets in the next corner. Okay, and now we start to join. For joining, I do always chain first one and then after the slip stitch, chain another one. So here's that where it's going to be in here. So what you do, you check where you want it to be joined and you put the two wrong sides together like that. And then insert the hook in the corner of that one. So this it's going to be joined here. So we're starting this here corner. And a slip stitch there. And chain one. And back to the first square and this same corner. So we do the other side of that corner there. Trying to get that out of the way. <laughs> there. And then chain one. And now find the right place in this that we are joining the middle of the square. So slip stitch there. Chain one. And again return to the first one and jump to the next corner and do the three double crochets there. And then chain one. Now, since I have already joined some here, I'll need to go in the middle of this here, join. Now, when you're starting out, if you had, if you were joining to this, you just go to the corner when you don't have any joined corners yet. So I'll go in between these stitches here and slip stitch, chain one, and then finishing off that square. So that's that part and then just jumping straight to the last corner. chain one and slip stitch to the start, chain one for pulling. I mean the last chaining one is just for pulling through there. Okay, and then I'll do one more and I'm only showing the second round of it. Uh, let's see, I will join one here where you have to join in two corners at the same time. Here I have the second round started and I have one chain there and then where was it I wanted it here so it will go into this here place and again I'm putting it the right side uh, sorry wrong side facing here and start so through here slip stitch and in that 
corner of the unfinished one. Then chain one and attach it to that one. Chain one and skip to the corner. Next corner. Chain one and now we have a corner like that that already has three in it and this will be the fourth so you go through there somewhere so that it attaches it in the middle of those joints there and chain one and then again into the same corner to continue working on this one chain one and find where it's supposed to go like this here so it will attach there and chain one and the next corner again chain and then that remaining corner so now it looks like that there and then I of course finish that there chain one and finish the last side of the square right and now I'm ready to cut the yarn there and then we'll still make one half square so we could put it in there i'll decide what colors and then make one i'll do it blue and pink and uh, again to start with this loose stitch and uh, chain all together five so one two three four five counting this first one as a stitch and uh, slip stitch and then chain three and uh, here i have done three double crochets instead of just two after the chains so that the next round will sort of go here that there's somewhere for it to go because there's no corner so three double crochets chain one and four double crochets there and then you can tighten that a bit and cut the yarn and here's the pink one and uh, chain three attach it there and chain three and turn it round and uh, now we have to attach it right away so it will go here and we attach it there first so you turn this one inside out now this of course then turns wrong side round you can't help that so I'm attaching it there and uh, slip stitch and chain one and uh, so then the three stitches go after the first here so three double crochets there 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 are three and chain one and then just the same now we go in the middle of this where it's attached there and chain one and then we skip to the middle of this here half square triangle 
and do the first three stitches and chain one and then we come to the corner so a stitch in there I turn it around for a while so you see so it went like that there and chain one and back that corner and finishing off that corner chain one and then we jump to the next piece there and the middle of it and then jump to the end and then put the stitches there after the first here's the starting chain so you put the stitches into the loop made by that three and chain one and then go to the final corner here and a chain and that's it so now it looks like this here so like that and it's in there now so there's that one missing and that one and that one still missing and then when you do the corner you need to do two of these half ones so that you get an actual corner into it here and then i just continue little by little ideally i would have had more than just the seven colors because i like lots of colors it's raining <laughs> but even this amount of color is great i'll continue working with this